And those bags, Josh, I was yeah. look, they're really cute. And they look kind of waterproof, too. They do. Like the materials. So that would be good in our region in general. <laughs> yeah, especially as we move into the middle of this week. Yeah, you want to find everything that is waterproof as we expect to see the return of the wet weather. But today, likely going to be the driest day that we see over the next seven days, despite the foggy conditions still holding on to parts of the Forest Grove area. Thanks to our Explore 12 and Valley cameras, we currently sit at about 44 degrees out that direction. You can see out towards the western sections of the Willamette Valley, McMinnville, visibility down to only about four miles or so as we continue to see clearing through the rest of the I-5 corridor. Just really kind of leaning into that spooky season category as we are now just two days away from Halloween, Election Day, less than a week, and Thanksgiving. 30 days away as Christmas is within the 60-day mark. So quickly coming to an end with the year as we prepare to fall back. It happens early Sunday morning at 2 a.m. That's where those sunsets and sunrises will be happening about an hour earlier. So for tonight, this is our final 6 p.m. sunset as it dips below the horizon at about 6.01 or so. But you'll notice our brand new sunset time comes Sunday. Well, that's within the four o'clock hour at 453. Right now, seeing those clouds starting to break apart here across much of our area. A stray raindrop or two still a very real possibility as we work our way through the afternoon and eventually into the evening hours. You can see a little bit of a burst of moisture right now over the coast range. I really think that that will start to fizzle out as we get some of the down sloping winds coming out of the coast range. But as far as the future cast goes, you can see it timed out with maybe some patchy fog developing again tonight into the start of the day tomorrow as we prepare for that wet weather to once again find its way back into the Pacific Northwest. This is 6 a.m. or so tomorrow morning. It will be a wet commute. Lunchtime tomorrow as well. Heavy downpours indicated by those yellows and oranges as mountain snow really starts to fire up above about 4,000 feet. We hold on to that wet weather potential Wednesday evening through the overnight hours with splash and dash showers and then for Thursday, Halloween, that's where the wet weather will continue to keep a tight grip on much of the Pacific Northwest. Helping to fill up those rain gauges close to about three quarters of an inch for us here in the Portland Vancouver metro area a little bit more than a half inch possible for the coastline and tomorrow we also have that potential to see a rumble of thunder a bolt of lightning maybe even another funnel cloud site very similar to what we saw just yesterday once again through parts of western Oregon and southwest Washington as our snow elevation levels continue to dance around 4,000 feet this is going to be a big snow maker for the central cascades we're talking about two feet of snow possible 8 to 16 for the Mount Hood area as Halloween quickly approaches 52 degrees is where we expect to sit. Trick or treaters start planning accordingly now because that wet weather likely to take us through the evening hours on Halloween as we slowly dry things out by the time it gets Friday into the weekend, but likely holding on to those cloudy skies with temperatures hovering right around average, that average being in the upper 50s for this time of year, and then maybe a drier start to next week as we start to work our way deeper into the month of November. Mm -hmm. So we definitely like waterproof bags for the candy. Yes. On yes. You, you got to protect the candy. Not soggy Reese's. Yeah, you work so cups. hard to get it. Yeah, okay. We'll be right back with uh, more news and a final look at that forecast. Stick around.